It's Monday, October 21st. The International Space Station crew members have focused their attention today on preparation for departure on Tuesday of the Cygnus cargo vehicle, as well as preparations for a planned spacewalk next month that will be the longest leg in the next Olympic torch relay. Station Commander Fyodor Yurchikin kicked off the week with station maintenance, working first on the laptop computers and then in the uh, Russian segment toilet. Afterwards, he joined fellow Soyuz Commander Oleg Kotov as the two of them conducted a test of communications between those two vehicles. They then joined up with flight engineer Sergei Rizansky to record messages for Russian public affairs use and finish their day wrapping up with their daily exercise sessions. Kotov and Rosansky spent their morning gathering tools that will be used during an upcoming spacewalk. Next month, during the direct handover period, while there will be nine crew members on board the space station, Kotov and Rosansky will go outside to replace some antenna and configure communications cables as part of the ongoing preparations for the arrival of a new Russian multipurpose laboratory module to the station. But they will also carry an Olympic torch outside as part of the torch relay leading up to the Winter Olympic Games in Sochi, Russia, beginning in February. That torch is going to be delivered to the station on board a Soyuz vehicle early next month and then return to the ground with Yurchikin and his departing Soyuz crew on November the 10th. The U.S. segment crew members spent most of their day preparing the Cygnus vehicle for departure to wrap up its successful demonstration flight when it leaves the station on Tuesday. Flight engineers Karen Nyberg and Luca Parmitano did the last word work inside the ship that arrived on September the 29th and closed it out for departure by removing the ventilation ducting and some handrails. They then closed the cargo ship's hatch at 5.42 this morning. Later in the day, Parmitano and Mike Hopkins disconnected the power jumpers in the vestibule between Cygnus and the Harmony module and reinstalled the power controller assemblies that operate the common berthing mechanism. That is the mechanism which holds the cargo ship tightly to the station. That was all done so that Parmitano and Nyberg could then close the Harmony hatch uh, on that vestibule to begin depressurization of that area between the two vehicles. Hopkins, Parmitano, and Nyberg will wrap up their day reviewing Cygnus departure procedures before the Tuesday morning unberthing. At that time, uh, Parmitano will be at the command of the station's Canadarm2 to remove Cygnus from its docking port and move it out away from the station structure and release it into free flight. All of that activity will start just a little bit after 4 o'clock central time on Tuesday. The unberthing starts about 5 o'clock and release of Cygnus happens at 6.30 Central Time. Live coverage will begin on NASA television Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. Central Time.